Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. 120 days to jump chemistry with Flash Isaac, episode one. In this episode, we shall be taking a look at these questions from the Flash Learners Jump application. The first question says, which of the following scientists discovered the neutron? The second question says, when an atom gets an electron, it becomes dash. The other question says, a particle that contains 9 protons, 10 neutrons, and 10 electrons is a dash. To be able to answer these questions, it is very important that we understand what chemistry is, that we understand matter, that we understand atoms, and that we understand subatomic particles. Chemistry is the study of the composition, properties, and uses of matter, of matter, which means chemistry studies matter, not just everything about matter, but the composition, the properties, and uses of this matter. This implies that everything you are studying in jump chemistry is under the composition, properties, and uses of matter. No topic in chemistry is outside these three areas. This begs the question, what is matter? Matter or matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Not weight, but anything that has mass. Mass is the quantity of matter a body possesses. Weight is mass times gravity. If a body of mass 2 kg is raised up and gravity approximately 10 meters per second square acts on that mass, then we have a weight of 20 newton or 20 kilogram meter per second square. Matter is divided into pure and impure substances. The pure substances are elements and compounds. The impure substances or the impure part of matter is referred to as mixture. The same matter can exist in different forms, solid, liquid, and gas. And the difference between the solid, liquid, and gaseous state of matter is the force of attraction or the separation between the molecules that make up the matter. What is matter made up of? Made up of? Matter is composed of atoms, which means the composition of matter is atoms. We can therefore say that chemistry is the study of atoms, properties of matter, and uses of matter. Atoms, or an atom, is the unit of matter. Every matter you see, all these things you are seeing, 
the smallest unit, the smallest part of them is atoms. They are all made up of atoms. As you see this marker alone, this is made up of billions and billions and billions of atoms, which makes atoms so small that you can't see them with your naked eye. Because they are so small and they react, atoms, they don't exist independently. They combine and they therefore exist as molecules. So atoms combine to form molecules. And when an atom or a group of atoms possess electric charge, positive or negative, we refer to them as ions. So by definition, we say that atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in chemical reaction. And we say that molecules are the smallest part of a substance that can exist on their own and still retain the property of that substance. Then you ask yourself, what is the relationship between atoms and elements? Elements is any substance that is made up of only one type of atom. If you bring out a substance and you say it is made up of only one type of atom, then it is an element. Element is a pure substance. And when two or more elements combine chemically, they form compounds. And the behavior of compound or the property of compound is different from the property of each of the elements that make up the compound. Now, properties of matter. The properties of matter are divided into physical and chemical properties. The physical property has to do with the color. If you bring out this, the physical property are color, density, mass, melting point, boiling point. All these are physical properties. And every matter, every substance, you see, they have physical properties. Then the chemical properties, which are chemical changes, have to do with their reaction. When they react with this, what is formed? Are they reactive? What is formed? Is they exist in neutral form? So all this reaction, you see, equations, balancing of equations, all these things, they are chemical property of matter. And the chemical property of matter is brought about by three electrons. Electrons. They basically determine the chemical property of matter. And uses of matter, everything, what's the use of this? What's the use of this? So that is millions and billions of uses for different matter that you have. Looking at these atoms, they have subatomic particles. If we take this to be atom, this is inside the atom. These atoms, they are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. In fact, there is a belief that we have further particles, quarks, as other subparticles of proton. But that's not the case today. Looking at this atom, let's call this inside the atom, the nucleus. In the nucleus, that is where you have the proton and the neutron. So P and N are in the neutron. The electrons, E, electrons, they move around the atom. They possess wave property. They are moving so fast that they behave as waves. We shall get there when we are discussing wave mechanics model by heavyweight scientists. Wana Heisenberg, Louis de Brog, Erwin Schrodinger. Don't worry, it's getting interesting soon. Proton has a positive charge, electron has negative charge. The charge of proton is plus 1.602 times 10 to the power of minus 19. Charge of electron is minus 1.602 times 10 to the power of minus 19. Positive and negative. Now, for a neutral atom, which means no positive, no negative charge, the number of proton is equal to the number of electron. So, if the number of proton is equal to the number of electron, they cancel out. There is no net charge. And the mass of any atom is when you add the proton and the neutron. You get the mass of atoms. And the mass of atoms is concentrated in the nucleus. 
That is where we have proton and neutron. Electron contribute least to the mass of the atom. Now, ions. Look at in the periodic table, the first 20 elements are hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, fluorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. All these, they are arranged according to their atomic number. And what is atomic number? Atomic number is the number of protons in atom. So any atom, when you look at how many protons does it have? Okay, that is the atomic number. And for a neutral atom, the number of protons is the same as the number of electrons. So electron can be the atomic number for a neutral atom. Looking at this sodium, it has only one electron in the outer shell, which means if it remove this one, the remaining one will be balanced. The chlorine, on the other hand, has seven in the outermost shell. It needs only one to complete. This chlorine will do everything possible to get one to complete. Then this one knows that, how will I be looking for seven? It's very difficult. Since it's just one I have to give out, let me just give out one. After all, I still have ten to hold my side tight. So that's the reason for chemical reaction. If this sodium now decide to give out this one electron, sodium becomes ion. But in that case, positively charged ion. We don't write it as like, uh, like this, as atom. No, it is now Na+. Chlorine can receive electron since it needs one. If this sodium eventually give out this one to chlorine, chlorine becomes stable. It is no longer Cl, it becomes Cl-. minus Ion, it has received electron. This sodium, it has 11 protons. P is equals 11. Since in this case, here, so it is neutral, electron is also equals 11. But what has happened? After giving out electron to become ion, it means it has one electron lesser than proton. So electron now is equals 10 because one electron has been given out. Look at here, chlorine, proton is 17. In the neutral form, electron is 17. But after gaining one electron right now, the number of electrons is 18, which means chlorine ion has one electron more than the chlorine atom, and sodium ion has one well, one electron lesser than the sodium atom. And J.J. Thompson discovered electrons. W. Astin discovered isotopy. Why mostly Henry? discovered atomic number now what is isotopy isotopy is a phenomenon where atom with the same atomic number can have different mass number look at it all chlorine they have atomic number of 17 but we have a case whereby chlorine can have mass of 37 the same chlorine can have mass of 35 even carbon we have the same carbon, atomic number 6, can have mass of 12, 13, 14. So the same atomic number, different masses. That is isotopy, discovered by W. Anston. We have isobars, where atoms or elements with different atomic number, they have the same mass number. Look at carbon, it has atomic number of 6. Nitrogen, atomic number of 7. We can have carbon with mass of 14 and nitrogen with mass of 14. So atoms of different elements, they have the same mass. So this question, which of the following scientists discovered the neutron? James Chadwick, 1932. When an atom gains electron, it becomes dash. It becomes an ion. Not just ion, it becomes negatively charged like we explained. A particle that contains 9 protons, 10 neutrons, and 10 electrons is a dash. It contains 9 protons, 10 neutrons, and 10 electrons. Since the number of protons and electrons are not the same, therefore it is an ion. It has either gained or lost electrons. But in this case, 
9 protons, 10 electrons. It simply means it has gained electron. When atom gains electron, what happens? It becomes a negative ion. So negative ion is the correct option. This brings us to the end of the class. Now, assignment. Open the Flash and Dam app. Click on question search. Search matter. Answer question 4 and 12. See if you can answer any other question. See you in the next episode.